Hello everybody. Today we're going to discuss idle time event processing in WX widgets. So what is idle time event processing? Well, when your application isn't busy doing anything else, WX widgets will generate a WX idle event. You can catch that event and do whatever you want with it. It just gives your application a chance to do some background processing. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the documentation for the WX idle event. There's only one event handler and one event macro. This makes our job pretty easy. So let's go ahead and copy the event handler. And we'll just paste that into our main window class. And we'll change the name to on idle. For now, we'll just have our event handler create a dialog with the WX message box macro. And we need to add the event macro to the event table. Okay, so now our event handler should be connected to the WX idle event. Let's go ahead and run that and see what it looks like. As you can see, the dialog pops up almost immediately. That's because when our application first starts, it's not doing anything. So it generates an idle event, which triggers our event handler. If we click the OK button, our application still doesn't do anything, so WX widgets just generates another WX idle event. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this out. And let's get rid of this so the dialog doesn't keep popping up on us. We're going to use the on new event handler as an example. So let's take a minute to remind everybody how it works. Here we push some text to the status bar. Then we simulate some work. And then we pop the text off the status bar. When we call the event handler, the text main window on new is pushed to the status bar. And then the text is popped off the status bar. Okay, now let's see what happens if for some reason our event handler exits early. The text is pushed onto the status bar. And no matter how long we wait, the text won't get popped off the status bar because the pop status text method isn't being called. To prevent this from happening, we can set the status text in the idle event handler.
Now whenever the application is idle, the status bar text will be set to ready. Okay, so now if we call the on new event handler, the text is set. And it goes back to ready when the idle event is generated. There's a few ways we can modify the idle time event. So for example, we can call event.requestMore and set that to true. That will cause WX widgets to generate idle events more frequently. You can call WX wake up idle anywhere in your application, and it will cause WX widgets to generate a WX idle event. If you call set mode with the WX idle process specified flag, it will cause WX widgets to stop generating idle events unless you tell it to. So let's run that and see what that looks like. You'll notice here that the ready text isn't showing up. That's because the idle event isn't being generated. If you want WX widgets to generate an idle event, even when the WX idle process specified flag has been set, your window will have to set the extra style WX WS EX process idle. And now you can see the ready text is showing up in the status bar. Okay, everybody, that's it for idle time event processing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.